right, we have our half of pear right there. Now I'm gonna bring in some cheddar cheese and I have a little leaf cookie punch and we are going to cut out our cheddar cheese just like so. And then we'll have a fun little leaf shaped cheese. I have a little maple leaf as well. And we're gonna put this on our Havarti cheese. Do a little punch. And that's going right along our pear. So just layer all your favorite cheeses that you cut out. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just stack them nice and pretty along our little pear here. This is gonna turn out so fun at the end. So great for Thanksgiving, or you know, if you just wanna make a delicious, fun cheese shape year round. Now I have some roasted almonds with sea salt. And we are just gonna line that up right along our cheese. It's okay if it's a little messy because we will fix it and make it look just right. Yummy. And you can use whatever nut you would like. Just customize this to your liking. That's the best advice I can give when putting together this easy appetizer. Now to go with those cheeses, I have some salami here that I cut up and we are going to line up our little salami coins right along our almonds. We just kind of want to make a round shape along those almonds, all around that pear. Now, your cracker of choice. I found these petite toasts, so I'm gonna go ahead with those, and we're gonna continue our little design on our cutting board. I love these little mini toasts. They're just so delicious and so aesthetically pleasing. But like I said, you can use whatever cracker you like. I like the little smaller shape because it just fits perfectly onto our design that we're creating. Remember, we're still going around following that circular shape. Now I'm gonna bring in some dried apricots and we are going to do just like we did with the almonds, kind of just make a little you know, bundle. It doesn't need to be as aesthetic as the salami and the toast. These just look so good on their own. Bright orange coloring just looks gorgeous. Just get a few in there. And these are so delicious and complement these other flavors just perfectly. Okay, almost done here. Just add a few more because you can never have too many of your fruits. Okay, now for some more meat. We have this charcuterie trio, and I think I'm gonna go with our peppered salami this time. The salami we already used was like a truffle salami. And with these ones, we're gonna do something extra special. Let's grab a few. All right, you're gonna grab your salami and you're gonna fold it in half. And then once again, just like so, and then we're gonna place that, really make sure it stays just right there. Beautiful. And as we put more, it will stay better in shape. Just quickly fold up your salami and put them right next to each other. We are going to get lots of salami on to our board. All right, now I'm gonna grab these rosemary crackers, rosemary raisin crackers. These are just so delicious during the fall season. And these are gonna just look beautiful on our plate. Okay, and as we're just gonna carefully place these just right on the edge against that salami. Beautiful crackers right on our board. Just really get it to the edge because that's what's gonna make this look gorgeous. And the only thing we're missing here now is just some more cheese. And you guys know I had to use my favorite tree cheese, the brie. And I already sliced this up into super thin little pieces. And we're gonna go ahead and take our little brie slices and put them right on top of our crackers just to add more height and texture and just make it extra beautiful. This is 
Everything is optional here. Use whatever cheeses, use whatever crackers you like. This just makes it look so fun. And of course, delicious. We love brie cheese. I'm gonna add a few more just to make it nice and full. Okay, now to make this extra festive, I'm gonna grab some little shredded carrots and we're gonna pop these shredded carrots right underneath our little pear, just like so. You're gonna grab some extra little pieces. That's what's so great about these shredded carrots is that they have all these little sizes of carrots and we are gonna make some turkey legs. Now I have some honey here and I have one of those almonds and we are going to grab just the smallest bit of honey and place it right in the center of our pear. Make sure it sticks just like so. We have some eyes and we're just using honey to stick it. All right, one last little touch. Just a little one drip of honey right there. And there we go. We have a little turkey charcuterie board perfect for thanksgiving now obviously if you're hosting thanksgiving you might not have the time to create this but if you are a guest at someone's house throw this together and they will be so impressed and so excited that you brought this all right let's go ahead and dig in i'm gonna grab a toast a salami and of course a beautiful leaf cheese mm. 